In this video, we'll show you how to import the content of an EPUB file into your ebook. This option is particularly useful in to import a new EPUB file. You can import your file when you first open the software from the welcome screen. You can also either click on Import from the File menu here, or you can click on the Import Shortcut button in the left panel. Once the Import dialog box appears, click on Browse EPUB File and locate the EPUB file you want to import. Once you find it, select it and press Open. You will notice that your ebook's title, cover image, and description will instantly appear. Here, you can decide whether you would like to import the entire book or just a single chapter. If you decide to import the whole EPUB file, then check the box labeled Entire Book and click Import. And that's it. Now you have your EPUB file imported and you can start formatting and customizing your ebook. Now, let's say you only need to import a specific chapter from the same or a different EPUB file into your ebook. First, Select any chapter in the section where you'd like the new chapter to be added, then click on Import here. Choose your EPUB file, then check the box labeled Single Chapter. Select your desired chapter from the list that appears in this box, and then finally press Import. As you can see, the new chapter has been added to the ebook here. You can also choose to import a chapter to replace a specific chapter in your ebook. In that case, you will need to select the chapter that you want replaced from the table of contents in the left panel here. After that, open the import window. Choose your file. Choose the chapter that you want to add. And check the box labeled Replace with Current Chapter. Finally, click the Import button, and there you have it. The new chapter has successfully replaced the old one. Let's say you'd like to add two or more EPUB files together into one ebook. For example, we will be adding two short stories in EPUB file formats into one ebook file. First, we'll locate and import the first short story file. We'll then repeat the same process to import the other file we want to add. You'll see that the individual short stories have been added as chapters in our new book. And that's it. We've now successfully merged two different ebooks into one. In the next video, we'll discuss how to import an HTML file, website, or blog. Stay tuned.